Mark. Hey, yeah, buddy, how you doing? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Taking the piss as usual. Get back to work. I don't pay you to drink my stock and smoke. You don't fucking pay me, your dad does. Ball bag. Hi lads, there's a reason why I don't show out Carl's man anymore. Or tits all like that. <laughs> Looking good now. Give me two plates, big man. Bring them over. More beans in, Dave. Service. This won't do at all. What are you going about now? Talking about your appearance. Let's look more the part. Different from them. Look, can we talk about this another time? Eh? No, Chris. You're the head chef. If anybody should follow the uniform code, it's you. Oh, no, this is fine. And anyway, I'm skinned. How is that? Nah, nah, you're all right. Seriously, I'm fine. Don't be silly. You like money when you move to exec head chef. I shall feel no evil. You stupid prick. You're gone. You're so fucking gone. Whoa, whoa, what's going on in here? Craig, I had enough of this shit. This whole place is a complete shambles. Jesus, how long have those been there? Look, that's not important. Dave is here. This is not important. We've got meals going on and you're pissing about with one of my chefs. Right, Dave, get Pete inside back in here. 
Now! Hi, Chef. You and Mark going on about before? Yeah, don't worry about me. It's all about Dave. No shit. Speak of the devil when he shall appear. All right, Pete. Take the boys, get them down to the cauldron where it tidied up, swept out, spotless, yeah? Yeah. Don't come out until I tell you. Good chef. Good chef. Cal, lads, sell it. Kindness is the noblest weapon to conquer. Remember that. Craig, got a minute? Yeah, yeah, I can do it. Fine. I'm not tolerating this anymore, Craig. Harry could sue me for what happened, and if he takes it further, I could have the police. God knows what else. All right, I accept. What happened in there was a little bit over the top, but I'll speak to him about it later. All right. And anyway, the bar staff—they shouldn't be coming in my kitchen through service, and I've told them so many times about that. I don't doubt that. But I won't have any of them assaulting members of my staff. I have said I'll speak to him, and I will. All right? Matter's finished. It's gone past that. Dave's gone. I want you to do it. Go on, no. This is forgetting, Craig. This is my kitchen, and my decision who works in it. Like, it's my decision if you get your promotion or not. Oh, hang on a minute. And with a new place opening, you're the perfect man to be the executive head chef. But if you're not with me, how can I trust you with one kitchen, let alone three? Look, I can control these guys. I said I'll speak to him and I will, all right? Fire him or lose your promotion. Anyone see that program the other night? Some wildlife shit with tigers. Yeah, that was hard. Stop fucking about and go to your work, yeah? Check out. I'm just chilling, your chef. <sighs> we'll be mates a long time, Craig. What's up? Wanker Mark. It's me to fire Dave, but I don't get that exec head chef job. <laughs> the devil will play small games before he'll sit out. <sighs> As usual, I have no idea what you just said to me. I don't know what to do here. Look, one enemy's too many. hundred friends is too few. Think first for yourself and the rest will follow. Right. One is the constant that keeps our world spinning. Well, we could, as Carl would say. Get the fuck out of him. <laughs> it's tempting, I'm telling you. That's a bigger picture and Dave's he's a mate of mine, you know? It don't take a wise man to realise that anything is better than having to sack one of your own mates. True. What about if we all threaten to walk out? The plan that has no ability and merit. Yeah. So, if anyone's got any better ideas, guys, I'm all ears. We could always kidnap him. Make him change his mind that way. <laughs> Look, lads. Forget it. I'll leave. He can fuck his job. I'll sort myself out. Whatever that. Right, that's decided. Fuck off then. <laughs> Check on. Right, fellas, look. We're either all behind Craig or not. We've got to decide now. I mean, come on. The king who is here cannot count himself king. It's all for one and one for all as far as I'm concerned. But there's five of us. Shut it, Carl. For once, P, I see what you're saying. You're right, man. Count me in. Yeah, can't mean to. Musketeers and shit. So I'll finish this over and get some paper so today, yeah? 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 Alright, done deal. Take it, you've done it. Yeah, sorted. Good math. You know, I know that can't have been easy. So, you know, to get ahead in this world, you know, you need to put your, the good of the company before friends. You know, there's going to be some changes around here, and I, I think you'll find me ready for it. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. So, I'm giving him one last warning, all right? <laughs> I take it you're joking. No. You said, think of the company first, and that's what I'm doing. One last warning. I know I'm not going to get a better chef than Dave. Well, so you've given him one last chance, haven't you? Craig, don't fuck things up for yourself. You know your choices. Yeah, and well, who's that chef? You, but... But nothing. Kitchen decisions are therefore my decisions, all right? You know, I've got, I've got hundreds of CVs upstairs, and they can all control the kitchen, and they know what's best well, for it. Let's not go down that road. My gross profits are up 22%. If 
We've got 15 outside catering bookings and there's more meals going through this kitchen than ever before. I'm doing everything this job entails and more. Slow down. No, no, no. There's no need for this. Really? We've got hundreds of CVs upstairs, remember, Mark? It's either my way or I'm gone. But it's my restaurant. No, it's not. It's your father's restaurant. If you're so desperate to control everything, go ahead. I can do it. Otherwise, stay the fuck out of my kitchen and keep your bar staff up there where they belong. Let's not be hasty. Look, I can't work like this. It's my way, or I'm gone. That'd be ridiculous. Well, stop interfering in my fucking kitchen, then! Sort your stuff out! You keep your bar stuff out of my kitchen through service! Okay, but Dave... Bro. Dave is kitchen staff, therefore my decision. Right? Right. So if you'll excuse me, I've got a kitchen to run. Never said I wanted more 